We are live. I want to wait till some people come on in before we get started. I want folks to at least come up in the room before we get started. Power Let on. me see if I can Bluetooth get the Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth. Let me stop that way. Connected. Power off. All right. Can y'all hear me? I'm going to make sure. Can y'all hear me together? Is the sound good? Is the sound good? Let me see if the sound together. Hold on one second. Can y'all hear me? Hold on one second. Okay, y'all can hear me. Okay, I can't see the chat on this part. Okay, I can see it. Let's get into it. You guys, uh, today, VS from TSCC, um, they're saying that they're going to pull back from the Wiley Show because a lot of people has been making comments. Um, Sean Bradley made a comment and said that he is not um, somebody was had a bag. Somebody with a lot of money was going to give me money. Was going to give me bless me. But since I gave an email to the demon, these are Sean words. The person said I'm not going to give. So I want to have this opportunity with you all and bring it to you all real raw and unfiltered and uncut. Um, VS and I is friends. And every friendship is tested. Every friendship has its highs and lows. So when your friend feel as though that you're not being loyal, sometimes it's best to step back, to revamp, regroup, to make sure everything is okay. I'm going to break it down with the Mess Express. I'm going to start with Bless. Bless got on her platform and she explained some things and she shared some things. And I'm not going to share what she told me privately because that's a private conversation that me and Bless had. But Bless have been nothing but supportive of the show. I publicly want to apologize to Bless Walkins because I believe Bless Walkins was getting so much backlash for being a moderator in this chat. Lipstick Alley. Um, label her uh, with a name and was calling her name. So many people were calling her names because of the way she moderate. And Bless have only been moderating for the channel for, for, for a couple of months, for about five, I was going to say five months. And I've always told Bless Walkers, do you. Do it in the chat unless I say loosen up. But I feel that those um, attacks on Bless was unwarranted. Y'all shouldn't have did that. Bring it to me. Because at the end of the day, Bless Walkers don't get paid to do this. Jay Love don't get paid to do this. Shard don't get paid to do this. None of my moderators get paid to do this. And so I said, it's not, it's unfair for all of these moderators to go through this and people dogging them out and calling them names, making them into content. And none of my moderators is, is content creators this time. So I was like, let me just take all the ranches away so people can post freely about what they want to say. So if you think I'm, um, so when VS, and, and Lady Nika and QI and Chopper wasn't on the air and um, Bless, all of them was on there. And of course, I was discussed on the, I was discussed. And I had this to say about QI. QI and, QI and I have always bumped heads because I believe she really liked VS so much. And I want to say, I think that any time that I said something, she would report it back to VS and she said, I don't like it and X, Y, and Z. And I get it. But I move a certain way. And the way that Wiley moved, I move in a way, how can this grow my platform? And so I want to tell you the, the things that the TSCC have done for the Wiley show as well as the producers. I want y'all to know that when it came to that car number one, it wasn't just TSCC people giving to the car. The people with the car, with folks from the Wiley Show, people came together as well as TSCC. It was a collective effort that came together. The person that came up with the, the GoFundMe was Jay, Jay Real, Jay, um, Jay Love. Jay Love, the one that created the GoFundMe account when the when we even talked about raising the money. I remember the day she made the GoFundMe account. She gave me the password. She gave me the way to get into it. And X, Y, Z, she taught me how to use a GoFundMe because I never had a GoFundMe in my life. And so collectively, everybody came together and I was able to get a car. That's number one. Number two, with the apartment, again, 
TSCC members as well as producers of The Wiley Show. I call my audience the producers. They came together collectively to help me if they saw a need and they helped. Um, number three, I never solicited or beg or, or make someone feel pressure that um, um, to give. Never. Um, I want to apologize because I do see in the chat somebody said they got the most credit. I get it because they are a popular organization. They are a popular team. So anything that TSCC is a part of or is it TSCC, it's going to always get more popularity because number one, they've been out here longer. Number two, they got a lot of people that talk about them for 24-7. And they were having this conversation about the money. And Bless Walkins, I'm not going to get into the issues with me and Bless because we talk privately. But the things about Bless, Bless have been nothing but a blessing to the show. That's why her name is Bless Walkins. And Bless, if I made you feel uncomfortable as a moderator, I apologize. That's why I wanted to have no moderators. I wanted complete control of whatever. And... We have to have a conversation. Now, me and VS, we do have to sit down and talk, talk about what happened so she can let me know what happened because I only want to talk to VS. I don't want to talk to any of the members of TSCC because, let's be honest, I did not have a friendship with TSCC. I had a friendship with VS. It's a difference. My friendship was with VS. Now, some of the members of TSCC did not like me at all. When we went to D.C., I saw the treatment of how they treated me um, subliminally. It was one member. I'm not going to name her name, but we met the night before at the casino. The next day, the woman didn't even give me a hug. To find out, V.S. left her. I'm saying, miss, you know, left the, left the woman. I'm laughing in the car. Q.I. go off on me. Because I'm laughing because I thought it was funny because I'm thinking this got to be a joke. This can't be real. Baby, VS is what you see is what you get. Okay? She went off on her members. What you see is what you get. I can never go off on my members like she go off on her team. But what you see is what you get. So she was going off on a lot of her members. And I was sitting in the back laughing. Because I thought it was funny. I didn't think it was real. I'm like, this got to be commentary. I'm being spooked. It got to be some cameras around here. So QI made a statement and said, um, this have nothing to do with you. Mind your business. I responded to QI. I, I mean, no, no. I didn't have to respond to QI. I'm sorry. VS responded and said, leave Wally alone. Wally is my friend. Wally came out. He came out and he was on time. X, Y, Z. And this is live. Hey, Tina. This is live. This is live in color, baby. It's live in color. Hey, J Love. Hey, Marlena. Hey, Carrie. This is live. Gigi Go. This is live, people. And so, uh, VS was defending me. QI did not like that me and VS met in person. The reason why QI did not like it because VS said, I want to go to the jacuzzi. I want to go to the pool. She made a statement and said, look, VS don't like it. I mean, no, she said, QI don't like this, Wiley. QI don't like this. And I felt a little bad because I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable. But VS, I'm there to see VS. We wanted to wake up the YouTube streets. And that's what we did. So I want to apologize to QI that I touched your woman and that me and your woman was in the pool, in the jacuzzi. I apologize because if I made you feel uncomfortable, I'm sorry. And I will reach out to you privately. And the reason why I'm coming publicly because you made public statements about me. But as my sister, I apologize to you because maybe I shouldn't have got in the jacuzzi with uh, uh, VS. And maybe I shouldn't have got into the pool with VS. And I thought we had an agreement. I thought it was cool, but obviously it wasn't. So I apologize to that moment. Um, and so uh, VS was like, a lot of my team members didn't like that I came and picked you up, Wiley. She was being honest with me. She said, a lot of my team members 
felt as though that you put a strife in this whole situation to the group. I said, I apologize because I'm only wily. I didn't call. I, I'm sorry that I have this relationship with VS. I'm sorry. But I knew in my spirit that maybe it would have been a problem because some of the members feel some type of way because they feel like I move a certain way. They don't like the way I move. Okay. And you're not going to always like the way Wiley move because it's, that's just the way I move different ways. Sometimes I move to the left. Sometimes I move to the right. Sometimes I'm a moderate. Sometimes I'm conservative. Sometimes I'm liberal. That's just the way I move to entertain you guys. I'm an entertainer. So when that came about in the D.C. trip, I knew that our relationship was taking a turn. Not with VS. We cool. We know it's about a click and a view. I believe VS was pressured. People, I'm getting to the meat and the potatoes because Sean Bradley came out and put an allegation saying that somebody wants to bless me with a lot of money. But since I gave an email to the demon, uh, the, the person is holding the bag. And I called Sean Bradley out on that because I'm like, number one, VS is not a demon. Number two, she's not the dark forest. Number three, she's a queen in her own right. And so to say that, it just, it just bothers me when people say those terms. Do you really know what a demon is? Do you really know what that is? Because obviously you don't if you're laboring VS that. You know, and I'm not going to get spiritual, but be careful laboring these people, these spiritual terms that you don't know anything about. When the last time you cracked open your Bible and researched what a real demon is, when the last time you cracked your Bible open, so when you label VS that, you need to be careful and do your research because what you're laboring her is you're, you mislabeled her because what she did in D.C., if she truly was a demon, now let me get this. VS is not perfect. Nobody is perfect. But that sister picked me and Rico up. That sister allowed Rico to put his duffel bags, his garbage bags, all his bags in that van to go to his house. She drove from one area to the next area and drove all the back to where she was at. So at the end of the day, when... Um, when Sean Bradley kept saying the demon thing, I know it got to my sister. And I felt it. It ain't about me super chatting 5A. Because like I told her, I called and let her know. Listen, I'm a super chat it. It's strategic. I'm a move. It's a strategic move. She got a thousand people in the chat. It will help bring exposure to the Wiley show. I personally do like 5A. X, Y, Z. I love Fight Babe. I don't want to see nothing happen to Fight Babe. I think Fight Babe, it, 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 she's not perfect. I believe she's a good mother. I also believe that uh, our issues and our problems is resolved because I forgave her. And I just forgave her. It's in scripture. I just forgave Fi Babe. I forgave that sister for what she done to me. I let it go. I did not hold on to it. It was. It would not profit me to hold on to a situation that can be resolved. At the end of the day, no harm or foul was done to my family. No harm or foul was done to me. So I just forgave her, and that's it. I forgave her, and I moved on. And I did super chatted her. Why? To bring awareness to my channel at the end of the day. Because, yes, I don't have a team of people. I don't have a team of women on my I have. I have. I'm building a team. I'm starting to build a team. But my team is small. It's not a lot of us. We are small in numbers, but we making noise. And at the end of the day, Day. I have a lot of people that's in school, work two jobs, they're married, they don't have time to be on YouTube 24 7. A lot of people that started out with me have left because they got jobs, they're married, they have husbands, and they don't have time to be on YouTube 24 7. A lot of people that I started out in November, like Ross Curry, y'all remember Ross Curry? She have a job and she's doing good right now, and she don't have time to be on YouTube 24 7. So I'm rebuilding my team and strategizing how to take the show to the next level. And I hear that word loyalty, and I understand what you're saying about loyalty but my loyalty is strong i defend vs 24 7 i defend vs in my emails i defend vs in my texts i defend her 24 7 you do not believe how much pain and suffering i receive from defending vs constantly i have received so much hate mail because of my love and my stand for my sister don't you come to me with that word loyalty i will look at you like you Strange, I would look at you with a strange look because I know where my loyalty lies. My loyalty, number one, lies with the Wiley Show. Number two is with my friends at the end of the day. Because 
for anybody, I was doing the show alone with one person watching. It was about my hard work and with the dedication of the people like Jay Love, Shard, Nurse Nicole, Mother Pat, so Bless Walkins, so many QI cuticle thinking about so many other people. Doors have opened up. Puppy Love. It's just so many people that I can name and can't that some that I can't even name because the show is growing. Anytime that you grow and you go to a next level, you're going to get some type of backlash. I will be shocked if I'm growing and I don't receive no backlash. Anytime you go to the next level in life you're going to receive people come at you that's just your next level and that's just what it is i'm going to the next level a lot of people can't handle the next level and that's just what it is but i want to tell you i want to take my friend with me vs to this next level but if vs don't want to come with me to the next level that's fine but I'm not going to dog my sister out. I'm not going to dog Bless Walkers out. I'm not going to dog QI out. I'm not going to dog Lady Nika out. And I'm not going to dog Bless Walkers or Chopper out. Because at the end of the day, they have helped me. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it uh, as such she did when she left um, um, when she left TSCC. She played recorders. I'm not going to do what Seven Stars did when she left TSCC. She played recorders and did all of these interviews. I'm not going to do what TC did, go to all these type of platforms and dog out via. I'm not going to do that. Why? Because they haven't done anything to me for me to dog them out. It would be a lie for me to go out to all these platforms and to dog out. So to bring you all up to speed, uh, it was a show, The Mess Express, and it, it, uh, my sisters, Bless Walkins, V.S., Lady Nika and QI Critical Thinking. They opened the show up for the people that's coming in late. <laughs> they opened the show up with Bless Walkins, and Bless Walkins was explaining of the thing that she done. Someone put a rumor out that she was giving me a hundred dollars a month. That's a lie. She did not give me a hundred dollars a month. Okay. Um, so they were explaining that. VS was saying she's going to pull it back because she feels as though from some of her members, I'm moving funny. And that's their thing because I guess me donating, it ain't no guess. I know for a fact me donating to, 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 to Five Babe, yes, your definition of moving funny. Why? Because Five Babe got an order of protection against VS. So they feel as though me giving to Five Babe's show is me moving funny. You do know once you give to a channel, and, 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 and you support a super chat, it's a strategic move. It was a very strategic move to get my numbers up. Amen? Because at the end of the day, I have to think in my brain how to grow this show organically and how to work with certain players in this game because this is a business. And folks will deal with you when you pay a little money. I would have donated to Juicy J channel. I would have donated to Tracy channel because at the end of the day, I'm going to work with people to help grow the platform. I don't care what they say about me. They have dogged me out more than anybody. Tell me who have been on YouTube and they said they didn't rape a family member. I have. I have took the blunt of this YouTube stuff. So ain't nobody going to tell me the hell that I've been through on YouTube. I've been through it. Ain't nobody didn't show up to their church but Wiley. Ain't nobody been accused of having sex with their grandmother but Wiley. All these false lies. I've been dealt with a lot on YouTube. And I could have easily done something and, 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 and got myself in a lot of trouble. But I didn't. I forgave them that lied on me. I literally forgave them that literally said I harmed my grandmother. I forgave them. Did it hurt me? Hell yes, it hurt me. That's one of the hurtful things you could have ever said to a person. When you say you didn't did something to your grandmother, they literally said I sexually assaulted my grandmother. That hurt it. That really, really hurt me. When they showed up to my church, of course they heard it. Because my hands were tied. I couldn't do nothing. So in order for me, I said, let me forgive them. And it hurt it me so much. Because I dealt with it for months and months and months and months. 
And it's embarrassing to even have to explain to something a lie. You have to explain it. Oh, it didn't happen. You know, it hurted me. And it did. I'm sorry, it did. It did hurt me that they showed up to the church. Of course it hurted me. Because my family and the church members didn't do anything. They not on YouTube waking it up, clicks and views. They had nothing to do with it. It was me. But I blame myself. I blame myself and I was wrong for it. And I should never uh, been so public about it. You know, I should have warned my family members about it. I should have, but I didn't. So she showed up. And I was able to talk to my grandmother. I was able to talk to my mother. And so what, what the devil meant for good, God meant for, what the devil meant for bad, God meant for good. A blessing happened. Because while she showed up to the church, I was able to talk to my mother more. I was able to talk to my sister more. I was able to talk to my niece. I was able to have line of communication open up to my family. So she did something. She thought it was a kiki and a roast and a gag, but it opened up the communication for my family. Do you know how hurtful that is when you have two years and you can't even speak to your loved ones? That's a hurtful. That is hurtful. When it took two years, you can't get a phone call. You know if your grandmother is breathing, your sister, your brother, your nobody. When I went to that library situation, I went through it alone with no family support. Nobody from the family. There was no communication. They literally cut me off and it hurted me so much. When you have family that's breathing, when you have family members that preach the Bible, preach the word every week and don't pick up the phone to see if I'm still breathing. When I'm on the news, when I'm in a hospital room, in a hospital bed, can't move and no family members called. That's hurtful. That was two years I've been through that. Two years I've been through not speaking to my family, speaking to my mother, speaking to my niece. You know how hurtful that my niece is older and I didn't see her grow up, like getting older. And she said, hey, uncle today to me, that brings me so much joy. So this is above this YouTube stuff. So I had to say that. So, you know, what bless what what Five Babe did. It was wrong in a sense. I get it. But baby, it opened up the door of communication to my family. Because I really thought that my family, the day they was going to see me was at my funeral. I didn't think that I was going to talk to them ever again. Our relationship was I done so much to my family. I caused so much pain to my family. Having a mental illness is not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy dealing with having bipolar. It's not easy dealing with that every day, knowing if you're going to have a good day or if you're going to have a bad day. Do you know what I deal with every day? I deal with so much with a mental illness. It's not easy. I wish that I could turn a switch on and turn it off, but I can't. Having bipolar is have been the most the worst thing that could have ever happened to me in my life. Cause it held me back. I relationships that I used to have with my wiggins is gone. Friends that I used to have, they don't turn they don't call me no more because I went off. I cussed them out. I dogged them out. Cause I wasn't well. I'm still not well. I just try every day to make it. It's not easy to have to go to a doctor and tell them of your problems. And they have to ask you, are you suicide? They have to ask you these questions. And I thank God I'm not. But every day I work my behind off to stay sane. Every day I work my behind off to stay sane. I'm only crying because I thank God that I'm still here to get it right. I thank God. And YouTube has been a blessing to me. I'm not perfect. 
I'm far from perfect. I made so many mistakes. But this YouTube community, y'all have been so a blessing to me. I wouldn't have an apartment. I wouldn't have a car. Y'all have blessed me. The world, YouTube, y'all done it. So yes, I forgive my babe. I let it go. She can, she can, I let it go. There's nothing more I can do because I have the communication with my family. And that what, that's what matters to me most. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to break down like this, but I have to tell y'all the truth. And so I'm trying to grow my platform. I've been through so much. I, I know my platform been all over the place. I have not been well. Just from this past month, I have been complying with my medication. I'm doing the medicine. I'm going to the psychiatrist. I'm dealing with things in my personal life. And it's not easy when you're dealing with a mental illness. And if you don't have one, you don't know what I'm talking about. If you have you have not been diagnosed with bipolar, you don't know. You can only read up and study it. But it's a difference living it. I live this every day. <clears throat> so I, I really want to say this, that VX have been such a good friend and she still is. It's just the people, they want to make us beef. And I'm just not going to do it. Why would I be for a person that have helped with the way of the subscribers of The Wiley Show? They have helped me get the medication. I can remember when Brianna, when I was sitting down in the waiting room for the, for the medication, I can remember when Brianna said, let me call to the front desk to see can you get your medicine? Because I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. And when you when you don't have no insurance, baby, you better get the you got to get on this word. Baby, I've been in this word. I've been trying to live this life and I'm not perfect. I'm not Jesus. Oh, my God, I'm not. But I'm just trying to look and say, you know what? God have brought me from a mighty long way. He have done so many great things for me. You all know my testimony. Y'all know what I've been through. I've been through pure hell. When you lose your mind, that is hell on earth. When you literally have no control of your mind, you are living hell on earth. I've been through that. I've been through the storm. Not eating, not drinking, staying up all weeds of the night, Clothes everywhere, papers everywhere, getting all type of apartments in your name, spending crazy money, over-sexualized. You don't know what I'm talking about unless you experience it or unless you're an expert in this department. Why would you try to, I don't understand people want to provoke me and want me to go off. Why you want me to go off on five, babe? I can't. I don't want to go off. On, I did that to my mother. Going off make you lose friendships. Going off make you lose opportunities. I have lost so many people. The way I dogged out of my Wiggins, I just went off. Because I was not well. And people in the black community, I'm going to say this, and I say it so much, I'm going to just say it again. Mental illness is real in the black community. Period. And I thank God that I am complying with medication. It's not easy. Some days I don't want to take this medicine. I don't want to take no pill and swallow it. And then I got to deal with the side effects. So much side effects with the medicine. I got to go back to the hospital because of the side effects. It's not easy, people. But I just thank God that God keep me going. And then, you know, a lot of people are saying in the chat, and, I'm, and now I'm, I'm more common. They said, but I'll make you disloyal. I'm not disloyal. I'm very loyal. Very loyal. I could have dogged out Criss Cross, Cripple Walk, VS name through these YouTube streets months ago. But I didn't. I've been offered on to go on many shows, but I declined. 
I sent S. Hutchinson a text today. I said, S. Hutchinson, let's have a conversation. Well, why would I do that? Because S. Hutchinson going through what I'm going through. She has bipolar. And the only reason I like to talk to S. Hutchinson is because she will understand what I go through. And I said, let's have a conversation. This is far beyond you two. When you say I have bipolar and you go through the same things I go through and we have similar stories, that's the type of person I need to talk to. And I get it. These are trolls. I'm a one tier there. These are trolls. Let them come and comment. And it's okay. Um, do you have reasons to speak bad? I don't have reasons to speak bad about VS. I can. I don't have reasons to speak bad about VS. Absolutely not. Is she perfect? No. Is I'm perfect? No. And this whole thing about Sean Bradley, I had no other choice but to stand up and say Sean Bradley is not a child molester. I believe that Sean Bradley is not a child molester. That's what I believe. I had no other choice but to stand up and say that because my platform is so public and because the allegation came up on my platform, I have to have integrity, stand up and say Sean Bradley is not a child molester. I don't believe that he's a child molester. He never been charged. Why the authority is not involved. Why he ain't on the sex offender. I believe that he's not. I have to stand up and say it. If that's a definition of being disloyal, then you don't know the definition of being loyal. Because who's standing up for me when allegations are told up about me? I wanted somebody to stand up and stand up. It took some, it took VS to call my uncle to have him to go on record and to defend Wiley with that hideous lie that was told on YouTube. It was very vicious. So I know what Sean Bradley is going through. It ain't easy when people are labeling you to being a monster and you know you're not. Me and Sean can relate to that. I can't throw Sean away. If I throw Sean away, I throw myself away. When it comes to that, do I agree with everything that Sean do, does on YouTube? Absolutely not. I don't agree with everything he does on YouTube. But when it comes to that one particular issue, I'm with him on that. I don't believe that. That's just my personal belief. And the ZT thing, I've been apologized for the ZT thing. I'm talking about the Sean Bradley thing. Because that's still ongoing. I wish that can just get resolved. Because it's pathetic. It's stupid and it's dangerous rhetoric. People can lose their livelihood with that particular situation. With that particular rumor like that. When you're talking about children. And I look at the situation with Rita. I, that's serious. I don't think that's funny. I don't think that's a kiki. I don't think that's a ha ha. <clears throat> But this is YouTube and people are going to do that. But this is The Wiley Show and I'm going to give my opinion. And I thank God for you all for supporting The Wiley Show. Some of y'all going to say Wiley's an actor. I know the game. I'm not low-key hating on VS. I love VS. I just feel like VS, Sean Bradley, and Five Babe, all of them are parents and mothers and fathers. They all need to sit at the table and to come together and talk. That's mama and you got a father and you got another mama. Y'all are parents. And the type of rumors that y'all are coming up with, your what if your children do that kind of rhetoric? Y'all have to sit down and y'all going to have to talk to resolve that. Five Babe, Sean Bradley, and VS, them three going to have to sit down. Once they sit down and resolve that, you go back and you tell your audience that follow you, hold back. Let's just move on past this. But that type of rhetoric is dangerous rhetoric. But they're going to have to stop that. They're going to have to resolve that. Because it make people forced to choose. It make people forced. I know y'all laughing, but it make people forced to choose. Oh, you said you like that video with Sean Bradley. That means you don't like me. Me, I can't go to somebody else's YouTube because you don't like that particular YouTuber. Is that with the type of friendships that we have now? I can't go to 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 Lady. Uh, I can't go to Lady Nika because you don't like Lady Nika. I can't go to Lovely T because you don't like Lovely T. So that means I'm not your friend. 
It's like this is YouTube. Y'all talking about the real issue? What is the real issue? And they tell me, you got, I talked with VS about that. That's a lie, the wrench. I told VS, I'm going to super chat five Bay. I gave her warning and she said she don't care. I think the issue came up with, with Sean Bradley, with that whole, he knows somebody with a lot of money that wanted to give. I told her that. I said, I'm going to fight, babe. I'm going to um, super chat fight, babe. I will not get mines again. The day I'm gonna get mines again when I'm able to when I'm able to pay for moderators. Cause this is a lot. I don't want them to go through this and get dragged, get docs. That's foolery. And they getting paid. They don't get paid nothing. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not having moderators. No. I'm tired of that. Moderators getting dragged. So now it ain't no moderators. The only person that you disagree with, you have to come to me about it. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't need nobody permission to super chat nobody. I'm sorry. I'm going to super chat who I feel to super chat. Maybe somebody have a need someday. I move I move that way. I might feel so I give to certain people. I I I don't I don't put limits on my friendship. Give to whomever you want to give to. You never know what that person is going through. Just never know. I don't move like that. I'm going to give to whomever I want to give. I gave to Tracy today. I would give for my main channel, but she had me blocked. But my point got across, it's strategic. You got to give and take in this world. It's about a giving thing. It's about networking. That's it. I don't, I don't put too much emphasis into this by giving a super chat. You just gave somebody some money. And when I gave Five Babe some money, she wasn't dogging VS at that time doing that segment. She wasn't dogging um, VS children in that particular segment. I wouldn't have gave uh, Five Babe no money if, 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 in that segment if she was dogging out VS in that segment. No. Even even Fi Babe don't even believe that this is sincere. Fi Babe said, I think that VS sent Wiley over here. She said it out of her own mouth. And if that's what she believed, that's what she believed in. You some of you buying I'm not buying friendships. How can I buy somebody for 499? You give to whoever you want to give. Have I tried to call me? I did. But the public, when the public subside, call me. You got my number. I don't block people's number. Oh, well, I, correct. I did. I blocked, um, as such, I had to unblock her. Because she was recording, folks, recording conversations. But I unblocked her today. So I don't have nobody blocked. That was the only person that I had blocked was Ed Sushin because she was doing all the recordings. But I unblocked that sister. I just feel into my spirit. Maybe we need to have a conversation. And if she don't want to have no conversation with me, may God be with her. Go ahead with your questions. I'm, I'm listening. I'm sorry. Go ahead with your questions. I feel like Five Babe can be bought for that much, but I digress. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Go ahead with your question. Since you said you text her, can you feel like you should publicly apologize to text um, to Shelly? I publicly apologize to Shelly. I can apologize to her, but I would rather have a private conversation with Shelly because we both have done some things, but I publicly apologize to Shelly. It's something to be resolved. We can resolve this issue. I really like talking to Ed Sushin because we related on the whole um, we we related on the whole bipolar situation. That's why I like talking to Ed Sushin. Not saying my joke because I'm a comedian. This is hilarious. Jay Wilson and Tracy are no longer friends because of the misunderstanding dealing with giving with Five Bay money. This storyline is dry. It's not well. You, if you think that the storyline is dry, then uh, Mike Johnson, well, Mike Johnson, that's your opinion. 
Thank you for coming, though. Uh, supporting is buying now. MFs are real haters. You must be broke. Smile. Um, do you have any understanding of what BS issue is? Really, that's something that I don't really have the total conclusion. I can only get an assumption of what I think it is. I think it's a multiple of issues because there's so many factors. Then you got to deal with the he say, she say. Then you got to deal with the people that's in the DMs, X, Y, and Z. Wiley, you can do whatever you want to do with your money. Stop letting people talk to you like that. You are a kid. Yes, you can do everything you want with the money. They said the Super Chat beef is crazy. And this is beefing, uh, you know, and it's not a lot of money. I, thank you so much, is a um, uh, Vela. Thank you so much. It's okay, brother. I was going to donate this to Brother Jay, but one of his hating as a mods has blocked me for no reason. Brother Jay likes me. I know that for a fact, but I guess you get his coin. Oh, well, life go on, but it's all what Wiley say. Sean, thank you. This is why we ain't going to have no moderators. Give freely and say what you want to say. Once you apologize to Shelly and she accepted, then you have to accept it back. Absolutely not accept it. We move forward. Now, does that mean we're going to have a kumbaya moment? No. I don't mean like we're going to be perfect. We ain't going to roast again. We buy roast again. We entertainers at the end of the day. No, well, I can speak for me. I'm sorry that I have to break down and cry. But sometimes, sometimes on the Wiley show, you might see some boogers. You might see some snot. And you might see some tears. Um, so you didn't know anything was wrong until the video was. I didn't know anything was wrong until the video this morning. Like the perplex of it this morning. I didn't know anything wrong until the video this morning. And then when I saw the video was unlist, uh, was blocked. Um, um, was taken down. Then when I went to Lady Nika and I super chatted four ninety nine, and then I was just blocked for some or or timed out. I was like, oh, it must be something going on. And then the night when they went on a, a messy express, I made a comment. Then I tried to make another comment. Then I was timed out. Then everybody that said Wally name was blocked. See, that's the people. That that's that's the people. You know, and I was going to super chat them that night. Are you going to apologize? I don't have anything to apologize to Miss Beverly for. I have nothing to apologize for that sister before. I haven't done anything negative to that sister. That sister was used on these YouTube streets, and I love that sister. And we supported Mother Beverly over here. And you know what? I uh uh apologize for what? For Mother Beverly. I spoke to you in the chat and I wasn't blocked, Wally. No, 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 I'm talking about when I tried the super chat again, I was timed out. Well, people lies you told uh on people. What you got what tell the people to come to me. You saying people. Name names. You talking about zero tolerance? <laughs> We've been apologizing to that. Me and zero tolerance. Um, he he always on the platform. We just re-uploaded a video of him coming on. Let Wiley live. Yeah, I'm gonna live. You know, people give you public scrutiny. But I'm sorry that I had to boohoo and cry up in here. But I had to. I had to. If it's big nose, you always accuse someone of being on. Yeah, you know, you always get that. Did you quit a VS problem so early? Uh, in the making. Are you going to apologize to Sean Bradley? I apologize to Sean. I, re, the only apology I give to Sean Bradley is for doing the John Gacy challenge. I, I apologize for that reason. I think that I think if I apologize for do, for doing the John Gacy challenge, I apologize to Sean Bradley for that. Yes, I apologize to him. And we we would talk privately. I emailed Sean Bradley. I'm just waiting on him to respond. Because I try to reach out to people privately if they respond. And then I reach out to him publicly. I, I'm saying it out publicly. But I reached out to him. I'm going to miss you and VS Alliance and Collaborations. And yes, we'll definitely, we, you know what? We'll definitely come back. We'll meet up again. How did he criticize the VS Pilot? Did you apologize? Oh, yeah, I've been apologized to Rico. Rico got so many apologies. Rico got so many apologies. What can we get in the next part of the storyline? Keep watching, Mary J. Five Baby is running these YouTube streets right now. Five Baby is doing an amazing job. And when I say that, I don't, I don't mean to keep. She's doing great. She got a thousand people in her chat. That's great numbers, people. Amal Wiggins had a thousand people, and Amal Wiggins is at fifty-five thousand subscribers, and Five Babe is under ten thousand. It's under 
8,000 subscribers. So it's great numbers for Fibade. Those are amazing numbers. For this beef sector, she found her niche and it's an amazing audience. And I think we don't give this sector enough credit. It's an audience to be made in this sector. And she found her niche. Don't answer the trolls to tell them to stop bothering. I will not answer to them. I, I like the trolls. They make for conversation. Um, go ahead with it. I'm not going to scroll up and look at the comments. Go ahead and post it again. I don't feel like scrolling up. I'll see what y'all post in the comments. She's doing great. That's why everybody keep her name in their mouth. She's doing an amazing thing. I agree with you, Arm. She's doing great. Great numbers. Ain't nothing that. Why would I hate on her? Then when I get to a thousand, you're going to hate on me? Like, come on. Five Baby's breaking up friendship. Where if she able to break up a friendship, then it was never built on a good, solid foundation. Oh, yes, I keep this video up. I don't. I didn't say anything wrong for me to take the video down. So it's about the numbers. When you're in this business, an Oprah Winfrey show, you have to have ratings. Steve Harvey ratings. His show wasn't what well, was number four. It wasn't number one. It's all about ratings, people. You got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, somebody said, do a call-in. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Let me do a call-in. Let me open up the phone lines. Let me all open up the phone lines. Give me a second. Oh, Lord. Let me get my let me get my mute mud. Now, y'all know on the call lines. Uh, you cry. For, I don't cry for ratings, baby. Them real tears. Real tears, baby. You cry for rain. You get all that on YouTube. Let me open up the phone line. Thank you, Tube Talk. So make sure y'all go subscribe uh, to Tube Talk if the phone lines work. Because it ain't it's looking at some ain't going right. I don't think the phone lines would work. If the phone lines work. If not, then it ain't meant for me to open up the phone lines. Let me check again. It's 305 people in the chat. Make sure y'all like, like, like the like the video. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is the Wiley Show. We talk about politics, entertainment. Some days I break down and cry. I talk about um, bipolar. I talk about my issues, family issues. Uh, we counts. We have a good time. Please don't make this about being bipolar. You're very intelligent and strategic. No, what I'm telling you is just to educate people on the seriousness of bipolar. I have to tell y'all about that because that's a serious that's a serious uh, illness and diagnosis that we do need to have a conversation and talk about. So I had I had to say that. I had to say that. Please don't make this be a. I have to say that. So the phone lines will be open up in about eight minutes. Eight minutes the phone lines will be open up. But Oprah was loyal to her friend while getting her numbers. You can't put a price tag on friend. Oprah was loyal to her friends, but they had a friendship solid on foundation. Oprah, Oprah was very loyal to her friends. I'm loyal to mine. I, I'm not ending my friendship with VS. I still love her, still support her, and still gonna support her channel and still watch. And still and still watch the queen in her own way wake up these YouTube streets. I still watch her channel. I still share her channel on my play page. Now tomorrow is Wally V. And they don't even believe it. So, you know, Tracy don't believe it. And you know what, Tracy? I saw Tracy doing the YouTube news. I'm sorry. Let me just say this. The phone lines open up five minutes. Y'all got five minutes. The phone lines open up. I saw Tracy YouTube news and she couldn't even get all the names and stuff together. I said, Tracy, that's why you lose it in the YouTube news. See, Five Babe have her notes. She have the names. She have what's going on. Tracy got lazy when it came to the YouTube news. I'm sorry, Tracy, but I have to say it. You got lazy when it came to the YouTube news. I'm sorry, you got real lazy when it came to the YouTube news. It can be more. It can be more than one queen. Um, VS is a queen. Um, and you got Five Baby Queen, Nurse Nicole. I'm not Nurse Nicole. Uh, um, Nicole Tyler, the queen. Um, you have who else is out here waking up these YouTube seven stars? They're waking it up. She's a queen. It's more than one queen in these YouTube streets. And Tracy, she a queen. Even though she getting a little lazy with her commentary, but she's a queen. 
and her yes 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 but she used to wake it up when it came to that youtube news they when when treacy used to do the youtube news she used to wake it up when she used to report the news but she got into the commentary part Yeah, so we almost there. And they said, Tracy couldn't even pronounce my sister's name. I'm trying to get my sister a platform. I super chat her. She couldn't even announce Barksdale. She couldn't even uh, pronounce it. <laughs> I said, Tracy, get so much to down so much, Tracy. She couldn't even announce Barksdale. She said, oh, thank you, Brianna Sarsdale. I said, did she say Sarsdale? It's Barks, Barksdale, okay? So I had super chat because I'm trying to uh, help my sister platform. So for real this time, so you for real this time, absolutely Miss C. Divine, YouTube, I'm for real this time, absolutely you guys, this is real. Y'all are crazy, this is about fresh, this ain't about friendship, this it's about business. And it's, it's, it's about business, it's about business, it's about business. We, let's just keep it real about our friendships. We ain't, we ain't eating turkey dinners going out to the parks, going to people's house. I've never been to VS house. VS has never been to my house. This is more of a, we have a more like an online relationship and sometimes online friendships or online relationships get tested. You know, we, we both working strategically on our platforms. What way to go on your show? What way to go? It's going to be questions. And sometimes maybe we should break apart. I had to do that with Amaya Wiggins. Talk back to wait a minute. Talk back to me, people. Did I have to break up with Amal Wiggins? Remember, yeah, I roasted the gaggle, but did we have to break that apart? Did Amal Wiggins and Wiley have to break up? We have to break up and go our separate ways. I said some things. Amal Wiggins went his way. I went my way. If I I want to know who remember that. I bring his name up because he's content. He had to go his way. I had to go my way. Y'all said bed bugs bite. Y'all talking about. And some, yeah, Amar broke up with, with you. Absolutely. Of course he was going to break up with me. The stuff I was sharing, stuff I was saying, we had to move on. But since that breakup, I have my platform. We had to break up. It wasn't meant for us to be together. It wasn't meant for us to grow our platforms together. Somebody said, are you still um, are you still trying to have a baby? Who, me? I'm not trying to have a baby. I'm a man. I can't have one. I remember you was crying to a mind to come back. That was such a, in the past. Hey, Tracy. Tracy in the chat. See, we ain't blocking Tracy. We let Tracy go on up in the chat and comment. Tracy, get your notes and report the news. This is real. This is real stuff. Real stuff. I have no issues with Tracy. I just, I just, I just got on Tracy because she wasn't good with my friend. Since I ain't so loyal, Tracy, why you ain't see it for me, Tracy? And Tracy, tell the people why you didn't see it for me. Be honest on your platform, Tracy. Let me know why you didn't see it for me, Tracy. Tell the people on your platform why you didn't see it for Wiley. Let them know in the comments on why you didn't see it. Report and call y'all out. Okay. That's 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 what that's what she said. All right. She says she reported the news and call us out. Okay, let me um all right. So the phone lines, let me post the number in the chat. Okay, she said tune in. I'll be there, Tracy. I always tune into your show. I tune into your show. I like your little intro song. I have a good time when I tune into your show um, and everything like that. I tune in. I have a good time. Every time I tune in, I have a good time in your show. Hold up. I'm going to post a number in the chat because I don't have moderators, so I got to post a number in the in in the, in the the chat. It's the, it's the still 646 number, so I'm going to put it in there. Give me a second. Okay, okay, let me, uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open up the phone lines. And please be respectful. If you cuss, I'm going to get you off the air. No cussing. I ain't say not one cuss word since I've been on the air. 
Let me see if these phone lines will connect. Give me a second. Come on, phone lines. Come on now. I wanted to connect. Give me a second. Let me go to this. Let me go to this channel. <clears throat> Ooh, cha, I gotta give me a better system. And I've been dealing with this system for years. It's probably time for me to go to free conference call like everybody else. I try to be fancy and pay for stuff, but sometimes it's best to go with the free stuff. Oh, okay. Let me see. Hold on, we gonna get the phone line. There we go. I was waiting for that little dial thing. Let me see. Hopefully it worked. It's midnight. Start your show now. Press. Piers, you're calling back into a live show. We are reconnecting you now. All right, so let's your go. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, let me see if it's connected. Lost Hope Radio. All right, 0428-0428, can you hear me? Hello, Wiley. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, what's going on? You can you hear me? Really? I, I can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Got my gospel song. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, now it ain't Sunday. It ain't Sunday. All right, go ahead, Carl. I'm sorry about that. Go ahead. Damn, you got I'm about to catch the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, um, first off, Wiley, don't block me, okay? I'm no. about to say, I'm not about to cuss. No, no, go ahead. Say what you got to say. Just as long as you don't cuss. Speak your mind. Right. Now, with all due respect to you and BS, I think we all expected this to happen pretty soon. I mean, I'm going to say this. People can say what they want about you, but what we all like to see on YouTube is growth. And you are definitely coming into yourself. I mean, people love to hate you, but at the same time, they still love you. And BS is, her group is only big enough for one star. And to be honest, she is not a really good influence on you. And she sees that you are starting to rise into your own. And I feel like if you didn't get out of the way, she was going to continue to low-key sabotage you. Even with her influencing you to release all that stuff, from DC, I know a lot of it. You probably really didn't care for releasing, but it was her, you know, making you release that stuff. And in turn, it made you look bad. And she don't care about throwing you under the bus and making you look bad, as long as she can keep you in 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 arm's reach. So I think it's best that you did kind of separate yourself. Not saying you guys can't be friends, but y'all can meet again later on. But you are doing your thing and at a fast pace and she noticed that regardless of what you think or not and you don't want to always be looked at connected with her as a doctor or you know um, manipulative or you you don't want to always even though it's for clicks and views you can still get that without being seen that way finally mm, be better all than right that. thank you so much for your uh, your comments thank you caller all right uh the phone lines is open six four six seven one six eight four four seven go ahead um last four five zero six four you're live on the air hey Wally, how are you doing tonight i'm doing well how you doing all right i just want to know what's your end game to all this well, my end game is to keep on doing the content. What's your, what's your comment? That's the end game. Keep doing the content. It's, end game is is to keep doing the content what, and keep building the platform. But come on, Wiley. You we're, not, we're not stupid. We're not going to play dumb. We're not going to... Let's cut all the BS. You said we're the end game. We're grown men and women. You asked me we what's the end game. We all know that this is BS. We all know that this is fake and funny. You, you, uh, you think so? And come up with this game plan to try to run these YouTube streets because y'all storyline has been dry as hell. <laughs> Let's okay. Be 
No way. So I have a question, caller. I have, I have, I have a question. I have a question. So, so this is. Y'all know five babies running these YouTube streets, boo. Come on, boo. Okay. This is nothing new. Okay. Your storyline is dry as hell, bro. Okay. Trying to run these damn YouTube streets. You know your, you you know your platform is plummeting down. Okay. Let's be honest. So what made you call in tonight, yeah, caller? What made you call in tonight? I'm curious. Because tonight, because because you're playing you're playing with us, and I don't like that. What do you're you mean? With us. How about my damn platform at the end of the day? And I'm running these YouTube streets tonight. So sit. All right. Thank you, caller. Five six two three. Call you on the air. I'm calling. All righty, Wally. Get zero dollar. Go ahead, caller. Call me, go ahead, Zero Talk. You don't have to say my um my last four. You can just start saying zero talking to YouTube. And um I think that you have a video that was released today. Hey, was that video reload? That video was a re-upload. That was a re-upload from uh, two days ago. Oh, okay. Well, I we... was like, okay, hey, Wally, boy, yeah, I I have I've been so goddamn on busy today or whatever. Um about the MBS, I'm not gonna speak on it because, you know, um, I'll let y'all do y'all y'all too feel personally that you guys are friends, genuinely. <laughs> um, and if y'all trying to run a YouTube street, so be it or whatever. The content creators down in the chat talking about BS. If 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 y'all feel that Wally is over here strongly and BS is over there strongly going like making a fake assumption, why y'all here commenting then? Just let that let, let, let Wally talk. But no, y'all be here talking about, oh my God, BS, BS. All of y'all can see BS and Wally and the ice cream truck together. <laughs> y'all the one up there in the comments talking. Now, Wally, I'm not going to um, voice, you know, anything deeper about you and BS until, you know, later, but I can talk to y'all off, the, uh, off of YouTube because it's not that serious. YouTube, is, they, they, they want to see this. So you guys are giving them what they want. So hopefully they enjoy the show and just shut the hell up because I can see tonight your numbers is growing. Like you had three, four hundred people looking at you at midnight. So they want to see the mess, and you just serve it up, and you're doing a great job oh, at it, Wally. You. So you have a good night, and I will call you later. All right. Thank you so much. That was Zero Tolerance. Uh, let me post the number in there so you all can call in. That was pointless. All right. All right. So we're moving in. Thank you so much, caller. We're going to put you on mute, sister. All right. Black caller, you're live on the air. Oh, Wiley, I love you, Wiley. I love you too. Where are you calling from? I mean, well, go ahead with your question because I know you probably don't want to say where you're calling from, but go ahead with your comment. I'm calling from Pittsburgh, but oh, welcome. my comment to you is, I don't know, like you seem so genuine to me. Normally when you're online, you seem, I don't want to say fake, uh -huh. but you just seem so real to me. Yes. And when you were crying, I just felt like you, the world has been lifted off your shoulders. Oh, yes. No, oh, yes, a burden, a, a yoke was burned. Do you feel so good? I mean, do you feel I feel so much better because, listen, you quiet. guys, when you're having the communication open with your family of people that you ain't talked in years, that's that's a that's a a, a a moment. That's a golden moment in my life. That's an accomplishment when you are able to talk to your family. You know, I was ostracized and distant from my family for two years. I wasn't able to speak to them. We wasn't able talking for two years. So now when you're able to pick up the phone, you're able to talk to your mother, you're able to talk to your grandmother or your sister, your niece that you haven't spoke to in two years. That's a long time to go by of not speaking to your family. Well, yeah, you seem so much happy and I'm so, I'm happy for you. Oh, thank you so much. I don't have no much. comment about you on VS. Thank I you. I think y'all be friends later on. So Amen. I just wanted to say you look happy and I'm proud of you. Thank you so very much. All right, so the phone lines is open, you guys. The number is 646-716-8447. That is the number. The phone lines is open. And listen, you all, this is entertainment. We are going to entertain you guys. Listen, just an announcement. I've been invited to an all-white party on Sunday. We're doing stuff over there. Dean, I've been invited to go to a, a watch party. 
a debate watch party for Kamala Harris. So we're doing different content over here. We've been premiering old interviews for all the new callers. I mean, for all the new listeners, all the new viewers. We re-upload an interview with uh, Jay Wilson. When I first met Jay Wilson, some of y'all never, ever um, listened or watched that interview. So this is a blessing in disguise. And like I said, this is the new version, the new day for The Wiley Show. The same time when... Um, when me and uh, when me and um, Amara Wiggins, when that situation happened, something was birthed after that. So sometimes you have to cry. Sometimes you lose out for a new beginning. And so you all will be there for me. And I and I, and I thank you. And I thank you. And it about me is about and to see. I'm looking at the trolls. But thank you so much to the trolls. It's some professional trolls. I don't know if Juicy Booty is in the chat. I don't know if Blanca, one of the trolls. I think she's a troll. I think Blanky, Blanky. Uh, Juicy Booty, some of the trolls, them two ladies. I don't know if y'all watching. So Ali thinks his number are going to go up. Listen, it's not about the numbers. I'm the same person when it's 30 people, when it's 40 people, when it's 50 people, when it's 60 people. It doesn't make sense. I was in the chat today earlier. We had 30 people in the chat having a wonderful time. I think it was about 30 of us. Then we went up to 50. Sometimes your number ain't going to always go up. Um, um, where you want it, okay? All right, so 50, 60, sometimes our numbers been at 20, but been the same Wiley platform providing you all content. When I've been on the bus, I had 80 people, 100 people watching, okay? It's just my time. I like Wiley political chats. Yeah, we're gonna definitely get more into the political stuff too as, as well, just not tonight, because it's the mess. Y'all want the mess. So ask me the hard hit questions, but maybe the purpose of you and VS was to reunite with your family. And that was the purpose, reunited with them. You keep talking about numbers. Um, well, y'all bringing up the numbers. Um, you just said it was about numbers. I'm confused. I'm speaking about content creators. We look at numbers. We look at ratings. I'm not going to lie and say we don't look at numbers, of course. But at the end of the day, it's not going to stop. I'm not going to say, well, I'm not going to go live today because my number's low. I go live when it's 20 people in the chat. I go live when it's 50. I go live when I'm, because I remember when I didn't have nobody watching the show. You all watching Wiley now. Was y'all watching the Wiley show seven years ago? No. Okay, because it was nobody watching. It was zero. Then, it, then I started to get people in the gay community to watch me. So I was generally going up in views. Now this is the highest that the Wiley show ever seen in viewership. 50 people, to me, that's like 10,000. Because we had nobody watching at one point. So having 292 people to watch me at 2, 12, 14, at midnight, 1 o'clock in the East Coast, and if you're on the West Coast, it's 10, 14. To have that, you it, it, it would be dope. Respect, Wally. This is a chat. I like it. Somebody said, Wally, you said mixed, mixed signals. We're human beings. I want to know, do you always send the right um, signal call, uh, sister? Uh, the truth everywhere runs on the rocks. The truth preached. This is why he got roasted to the white meat a few days ago. I'm just, I'm looking at y'all comments. Somebody said, Wiley, how big is VS feet in person? She looks like she wears a... I don't know how big is her feet in person. I wasn't paying attention to her feet. She's a beautiful woman, but I wasn't paying attention to her feet. Wiley, how big... Oh, I've read that. Oh, yeah, the trolls out here tonight. That's why you're chasing Phi Bay view. I'm not chasing her views. What God has for Phi Bay is for Phi Bay. How can I chase something that is hers? I can't chase that. I can be a part of it. I can financially support that sister because she's winning. And Duchess Kelly Love says she's winning. He even put a post out and said that Five Baby was winning and that he was clapping and did a round of applause. The bus chats on the whole way home cooking show were the best. Them were the best. We <laughs> but we upgraded from that though. I remember that. And then we upgraded from the black sheet on the back of us and the Android phone. Now we do brown table talk. Then we get on the red couch and talk. We do a whole bunch of stuff. Rinse your messy. Wally, would you say that VS had a lot to do with your increase in viewership? I think that VS was a part of it, but it was my hard work because at the end of the day, you have to get on camera. You got to do videos. Like I tell my students in the house of Wiley, I tell Steve, I tell Rico, like I'm telling Rico, I said, at the end of the day, you hot now, but you got to keep the content coming. 
Like I tell my students in the house of Wiley, you have to keep your content coming. Because just because you got VS on your side or TSCC on your side, you got to get in front of that camera and do content. Because at the end of the day, you got to put that work in. Wiley be up constantly hours in content. And baby, we're moving on up. Wiley, are you Babe Nation? Are you there? So are they here supporting you? Babe Nation is in the chat. TSCC viewership is in the chat. Everybody's in the chat. It's 300 some odd people. So it's a little of everybody. Producers are in the chat. Okay. And uh, we want to give a special praise, a shout out to Rico. He reached 1,000 subscribers. He is a student, a graduate student of the House of Wiley. And Rico, I mean, I'm sorry, Steve, he's growing in subscribers. And he just started doing videos. He just started doing video. He got a whole beef coming that he met a woman off um, uh, only uh, plenty of fish. <laughs> Everybody welcome over here. Okay, if you roast and gag me, y'all been roasting from day one. That ain't gonna stop. Wiley is your security. Uh, Wiley is your, my security is on. It's on. My security is on high alert. I'm sorry. My security is on high alert. Because people making videos, then you got Bless Walker, she made a statement. You got TSCC people out. My security is on high alert. <laughs> they <did. laughs> so we want to say congratulations to Rico. He's a student. We can't we put Rico on camera. We introduced Rico to this sector of YouTube. We introduced Rico to this sector. And we're going to link up with Steve and meet up with Steve. And you think that DC gate was something. Wait till me and Steve link up and meet. That's really going to be something. I made Rico. That's my student. I'm the teacher. He's the student. Uh, <laughs> now, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I'm going to take some more callers. But Melina said, while your ego stay on Kanye level, that's one of the many things I like mm -hmm. about you. Thank you so much. And shout out to my students. We are looking for more students for the House of Wiley. Just email me and we will let you know how you can become a student in the House of Wiley. Um, Anonymous, you're live on the air. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead, sister. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Um, you've been friends with Vs. Um, she's defended you, and you have defended her as well. Um, you have also used your platform to support her, and I'm sure anyone that follows you have witnessed that. You have also involved yourself in a lot of her beef and drama, even when Yes, have said things wrong about people or done things wrong. Um, you opened up your channel and actually defended her. I did. And I think by you donating to Five A or opening up your love and forgiveness to people that Vs doesn't like, it just shows that you're your own person mm. and you're changing and you're growing. And right now, the reality of it is, is that with your condition and the bipolarness and battling with getting through these days and, and trying to make it, you have to stay strong. You have to stay positive. And you also have to understand that sometimes God will remove people from your life that you don't need in your life, even if it's like a negative way or a bad way. Sometimes people have to go, and you shouldn't fight it. And they always say, if leave those alone, they wish to be left alone. If yes is not answering to you, if she's not calling you, no, don't support her channel. Don't push yourself on her. Allow the process and let her go. Mm, thank you for that, sister. Thank you. I got something from there. Mm -hmm. You said allow the process. Amen. All right, so we got two callers. Um, let's take these two callers. Um, 
Uh, let me get my block but you can't ready. Anonymous, you're live on air. Turn me down in the background. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, you're live. Go ahead, sister. Yes, I have a question about this beef that's going on. I don't know if you call it a beef or what's going on with you and this uh, BS. But my question, more of a comment, I noticed after Jay Wilson and Tracy, whatever they had going on, then there comes you with this, with um, Miss V.S. And I don't know, a lot of times, if this stuff is real, is, is it fake or content for view? And I'm saying it to you directly because I think, me personally, it may not be, I think this is fake something that you all put together just to get the clicks and views. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying, ma'am, but that but you're a viewer and it's your job to feel that way though. It's just your job, that's your responsibility, that's your feeling. I have no control of your feeling. If you think this is fake, if you think it, anything for clicks and views, and I wanted to say that to you. I so many times I come back on your platform and listen to you talk and then you're not loyal you you have a friend with this person then you nice with them and then you're not nice with them <laughs> you say this you say this and they make jokes with people you talk about the, what's the I don't, I don't know her name uh you call her first lady you <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about the Tasha. you're talking about the Tasha with her walker it's funny to me then again it's sad you talk about everybody just for clicks and views. And uh, you seem to be a good person. I see that you got the struggle going on. But you got to be. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the first lady with a walker. Now, mother. You got a good show. Thank you. Stay loyal to what you believe and don't flip flop from one person to the five days and all of them. I said some mess about her. She ain't right either. A lot of. Uh uh. Uh uh. I'm going to tell you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm gonna tell you this. Let me get my green baby. I'm gonna tell you this. Y'all got to get it right. So you all have a lot of potential. You have a lot of potential with this platform. Happened once, though. I've seen this. By, uh, what's her name? Is Tracy? Uh, what's that lady? Tracy. That you haven't been with. I, uh, uh, I've seen her helping people. That's what it's about. You're helping people, but you all go get into this mess with each other, fighting with each other, and then you go under the belt talking about each other, just saying this and that and the other. When you have attention, you can help them, but y'all taking it in the wrong direction. You hear me, Mr. Wiley? You understand what I'm I, saying? I hear you, but Carla, I have a question. I, question. I have a question, Carla. Are you drinking? You said give me that drink. Huh? Are you drinking? Uh, I know what I'm saying. I mean, no, 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 I, no. I know that. I know no, 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 no. I asked you a question. No, 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 Carla. Wait, 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 Carla. I asked you a question. I said, are you drinking? If so, what are you drinking? I'm having a drink, but that ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking No, 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 Carla. No, 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 no. I'm asking. I'm asking you a question. I watch Miss and I ain't got nothing bad to say about you all, but one thing. You all is that know, brown? Is kind of, I heard Jay Sutton. He's always talking about is content. Is but it people talk about each other and it goes off in YouTube and people wait a minute and, and making people lose jobs. And I understand this. I understand that, sister. Talking, but that's what I think. Mother, about. mother, mother. What are you drinking? Hennessy, Syrah. What do you drink? Because I want to drink. What, what are you drinking? I'm thinking me for Remy. That's what I'm drinking. Remy. Somebody brought me some Remy over tonight. But I'm saying I'm sitting here watching your show. And I heard, I saw you crying and stuff, and that got to me. I said, well, he, he, he shouldn't be going if I'm not going to judge what you're going through, but you shouldn't be going through this. But you put yourself, like you said, you're a puppy figure. You put yourself out here on the platform, it's good with the bad. You understand what I'm saying? You Sometimes you put it out there yourself, stuff that you shouldn't put out there. I watch you a couple of times. And then when it comes back and hits you, sometimes you, you know, baby, you ain't, you can't, get, you can't take it. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? I understand mm -hmm. that, but ma'am, who you about to have come over with that Remy you drinking? Are you alone? Huh? Are you going to have a date come over? Are you I am 55, so I've been around a long time. I'm married. You know, my husband, you know, he's asleep right now, but I'm in the next room. And I like to come on the YouTube and listen to yes. you all because I know a lot of y'all got potential to make things better for your uh, what you're trying to do. Miss Viet, now I'm, I'm going to talk to you about you and Miss Viet. I've watched y'all a long time, and a lot of people don't like her for whatever reason. I've seen a lot of stuff that she did. I've seen a lot of stuff what you did, but I still see good in you guys. I see good in you. 
You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of the views, the people that come on your platform, some of them run from your platform, go to her platform, and talk about you. I, I see all this clip. I'm in the first looking. You understand what I'm saying, Mr. Wilder? All right, man, I hear you, sister. I hear you. You're 65 years old, and this is so amazing, me being able to do this platform. And you drinking some Remy, watching the Wally show. It's an honor. It's an honor. It is an yeah, honor. But it, he taught me a drink. I said, I used to go to the horseshoe and, and go to the boat and tell enjoy myself. But I said, I'm going to sit back and, and see what's going on with the show tonight. I want to talk to him. I never called in. I'm going to call in. And I'm talking out, I'm talking out of love to make the laugh. You're laughing at me. But let me tell you something. <laughs> I know you don't do your heart, but you don't. You better go ahead and drink that, Baba. You, man. man you got to get it right. I, you got to get it right. I don't know. This, this stuff I put in the content, I said, is this a fake beef going on with him and Miss uh that girl? Is that is that fake or whatever going on with them? I hope it's not. I hope that they continue being friends with one another because they've been friends with each other for a very long time. And now here I come up on your I'm sitting back looking and you have an issue with her and Jay Wilson. I got a lot to say about him too, but this ain't about Jay Wilson, this is about your show. I'm going to go to his platform and talk from, from, I don't want to curse, but I'm going to go over there and talk with him too because he's supposed to be a preacher. And I didn't put that message to him. And I said to Mr. J. Wilson, how are you going to, uh, why you too Friday to talk about this, that, and the other, but on Sunday you want to try to spread the word. <laughs> that, oh, baby, no. That's why a lot of people don't go to church because they call a mess like that. I'm going to try to not curse on your platform. A lot of people don't go to church because of that. I see Jay Whistler every Sunday talking about trying to bring people together, but he cursing you out and everybody else out, talking about you. Not necessarily in words cursing you out, but he talking about you like a dog. I think he's obsessed with Riley. I think Jay Whistler is obsessed with Wiley. He always got Wiley in his mouth. One thing about Wiley, why don't you want to talk about Jay Whistler? And then he runs over there talk about uh, uh, Sean Bradley. He got a problem with Sean Bradley. He, everybody is wrong but Mr. Wilson. But when you get in his ass, you got something to say about it. You know, he always talk about <laughs> uh, uh, what he said. I don't stop uh, a while I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm going to leave that alone. But every time he say some shit about he going to leave it alone, he come right back with another video. I'm trying to not curse in your platform. I don't even know how. He always oh, yeah, says, put my, don't put my drink away from me. He always <laughs> say, uh, uh, I'm not gonna talk about Wiley no more. But this next group that group, next day he got two, three videos of talking about Wiley. When you went to that trip, he he had a lot to say about that trip. What y'all did on that trip with y'all business? His his uh what that that man the moderator went to went to the to, to the that place with you all. He yeah. had a big problem about about that trying to trying to run his business because he's a moderator. You know who I'm talking about. Don't you know who I'm talking about? I know you're talking about Deshaun. I know who you're talking about. Keep it real. Yeah, he's talking about him. That's a big mess with that. But I know I, I don't want to tie your line up. I had to come on here and talk. I don't mean no harm. I watch all of y'all. But I see a lot of mess going on. You understand? A lot of mess. <laughs> y'all get it right. Okay, Mother Nat. No, don't. I, I applaud Ms. BS, Ms. Ms. BS for helping people. And you have to, and they mad with you because you went to five that I got some things to say to her, too. I love you all, but I really want to say something. I'm telling y'all love and I hate you. Because in the other sense, they, they're making good money. Y'all know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Wilder? I'm hearing you. They're making good money. I'm going to talk to the uh, viewers that, that's on your platform, too. Y'all stop a lot of that mess y'all doing. A lot of your viewers, the uh, subscribers on your show, they go to other shows, and they're running, talk about you, and come back over there. I love all of y'all. And I got to go. I got to go. I'm pretty good, ready to go to bed. I got to go early in the morning. I want to call you, Mr. Wilder, let you know I love you. I, I like this show. But you got to make sure you loyal to your your people. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. You All right. 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 Thank you, Mother. You told me. You corrected me today. Thank you. I'm, I'm taking but it all in. I'm not going to let, let it. To now, Mother, don't you be you drinking. Don't, don't drink and drive. Get you some sleep. Put down that bottle tonight. I'm going to bed, and I'll be back to see you another night. Y'all enjoy yourself. Y'all have a good night. Everybody, your views and everybody, y'all have a good night. All right. Thank you. She was wonderful. All right. Uh, well, let's go to the phone lines. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. We got Anonymous on the air. Give me a second. Anonymous, you're live on the air. 
All right, good morning, Wally. How are you doing? Oh, good morning. I'm doing well. How are you doing, sir? All right. Um, that was a, yeah, that was a wild call, the last caller. I definitely agree with what she said, but um, it's, um, uh, I run it that I was calling in to elaborate more of what she was trying to say as well. Now, I'm a, YouTube, I'm a viewer, and I've been watching YouTube um, almost like probably like six months now. You know, between my, my working schedule, I'm a business owner, I'm successful. I stay in Miami, and I'll be in the chat as Wolverine or Professor Xavier. So I, I go and I watch each, each platform, and what I can't understand is why are we calling, and I'm not trying to disrespect you and your platform, but I want to um, to bring you awareness. But someone has to say something because this is not content that you guys are talking about. It's not and why are we calling ourselves content creators when people who have over a million subscribers are giving people content. Example, you got the, you know, the, the set of YouTube, the mukbangers or the mukbanger, whatever you call them. They, they go get, you know, seafood or whatever, show you visual, a, you know, visual content. They show you how to, you know, prepare the food, how to, you know, they get you engaged in um, hot pop. They get you engaged in different foods that you think you were never going to try. And say they look good. They look like they're having a wonderful time eating it. it, it they give you that content. What what I'm getting here and what I've been listening to from Jay Wilson, from Sean Bradley, uh, you know, this set of YouTube, it's gossip. But, it, but what, what's going on now? It's just a the, the the it used to be called the party lines, and all that gossip was going on the party lines. You talk about one another. You go to you you go research somebody um, address or you doing this and doing that. That's not content. Gossiping, and that you know. So how that's creating content, and how could people call themselves content creators when they're not doing nothing but gossiping on? But well, that's their content. Channel. But and that's you, content, sir. Like Wendy Williams okay. do gossip. You know, it's just a sector of that. That's a form of content gossip. That's it. Yeah, but you know, but okay. I, I researched a YouTube creator tonight before I call you. I was on live YouTube. Okay, what? Are, what it takes to be a a, a, um, a creator on YouTube, create a channel. Step That's one. It. Step two, to get the viewers, to get enough viewers to go monetize. All right, you have that. You, you pass step one, you pass step two. Now you monetize, right? Amen, okay. yes. Okay, so you monetize now. So now we get, we get a subtle, steady inflow of money due to your, your viewers. Now let's say your viewers right now are like, what, three 300 people viewing. I don't know how much money YouTube is going to pay you, but what point are we going to say, okay, I want to go for 3000 4000 But we, 1 well, I can speak but for you, Wiley. If you keep on this, on, Let, if you, okay, go I'm going to tell you this. I'm not going to continue on that. Listen, you guys, we just speaking about today. When I go to Kamala Harris uh, watch party debate thing that we got, that's a totally some totally different. We pre sermons, we we talk about politics. Mm -hmm. It's just this particular topic is such a hot button topic. It gets a lot of people to come in. So how 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 often do you watch the Wiley show? Do you watch me often, or this well, is just well, every well, once just, in a while? I, well, well, I know what you're going to say because you, I know what you're going to say. You think you did a marketing strategy. Remember, I'm no, a business owner too. I know that, but I, I'm I, just I, asking I, I, how I, often do you watch me, though? Let me tell you this right. Hold on you, one second. Let me tell you this right here. You, if you continue to be in this melting pot that you call a this that tour, it's not. You're not going to go. It's, it's it's limited. You're limiting yourself, and you need to. I want you to get some visual content. Like you did a, a video, and I like to see cooking video. You said you did a video say cooking with Wally. I watched the whole video. I said I'm watching the whole video. I'm like, you like it? The, I, you wash the dishes. Thank you. But where's the cooking? What's the food? <laughs> you know, I, we, I didn't we, but wait a minute, Professor. Just give me time. But you know what, Professor? Send me a detail. See, this is the thing that I would love for you all to do. I have an email address. Send me a detailed email because you can probably mentor me and give me ideas. Can you do that? You, you, I, I can I can definitely give you the the advice and, and things like that. You know, I would love with, with that. Kaya, if you look at Kaya, if you look at Kaya, Kaya got her website. You know, she'd be blocked left and right if she continues to be on YouTube. But she split her her time between the YouTube and her website. She can a study income bigger than what YouTube giving her. I know that. Because she but, her subscriber but you know what, sir, she Professor Professor Xavier, because she got content. she got that now. Uh -huh. But she, it took her a journey to get there. It took her tw almost 15 to 20 years to get there. Sir, I've been doing this 
Uh, I've been being consistent no, no, for almost no, one no. year. But Kaya hey, been doing Kaya, this for... Kaya was getting blocked left and right. I know that, but it you, sir... Someone, people, I called in, I told Kaya. I called in on one of her, before she got a website, I said, Kaya, get off the YouTube. You're wasting your time. Your page is getting blocked. Create your own website. Go to, or go to Patreon. And, and just give them your time over there. Have your viewers to subscribe. Well, and thank you, Carla. The only one create a website that she can control her own content because thank, her, her her language. How she thank you so much, and Professor. The way she want to talk and her def, her definition of thank, different meanings. What you want to you know you. that may offend other people. Thank you, Professor. But what I'm telling you, let's uh, let's start right here. So if you go to a cooking video, okay. I want to see the camera on on your. Your food. Okay. Topping. You got 30 topping. seconds. I want, see, I want to look at your face. Okay, 30 I can seconds. I look at your face while you're talking sometimes. Like King of Reeds. King of Reeds got this thing to my cooking with the King of Reeds. Okay, he said, tell me to go cook a chicken Alfredo. <laughs> the whole time the camera hit face, I don't see no food. I feel you, Professor. So you but we, answer. Professor, Professor, listen, you got to talk to me offline because mm -hmm. the viewers are dropped. Talk to me offline about that. Okay. But thank you. Thank you so much, Professor. But we do hear you. But tonight is the middle of the night. People drinking. They want to turn up. They want to drag me. They don't want to see you school me. Maybe in the morning time. Well, I'm not schooling you. I'm just trying to get you out, out, of, this, this, out of this black cloud. Everyone well, help like me. Sean but you know what, Professor? Professor, they exactly. Will send. You know what? Let me tell you something, I mean, Professor. I creative people. I know that. But then also, too, help me so much with your words and also help me with things that fold. Okay? We need your donations. We need your I help. I got to open my channel and come on this set door YouTube and rise up. I come think about my channel. And what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to show you my business. You better go, go ahead, do. Professor. I'm going to Okay, I want to see you open up your channel, sir, and you come in. You show us, Professor to Go get you a channel. Treat. I, I mean, look at your green screen. You you know you get all this super chat. What about getting your green screen or sir, getting your nice 4K camera? Get, that's but, only but, $600. But sir, but sir, you can but sir. To, I know you got more than six hundred dollars on but, super chat now. But, but, but sir. We gonna get there. We 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 gonna get there, sir. Okay. We, we gonna get there. Thank you so much, professor. We gonna get there. All right. Well, when you have a live talking about what can you know what can you do, then I call in on that live. But I'm thank not you, professor. Tonight, so that's why I'm not you know turned up. I guess. Okay. Thank you for thank you two tops for that super chat. All right, anonymous, you're live on the air. But thank the professor. <laughs> Go ahead. Good God. This, yo, this is so funny. Oh, first, this has nothing. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead, Carla. This has nothing to do with nothing. Why are these people going for Tracy? <laughs> Why are they talking about Tracy's hair? Furniture? I, I think Tracy gone. And they still talking about Tracy. Then the man going to come on there and tell you how to cook, <laughs> how to hold your camera. This is some big you telling the man. People want to be turned up. They don't want to be... <laughs> <laughs> this is turning into a comedy show. Well, please tell me what's wrong with Tracy. And I want to mess with the people. I say, Tracy, peace is in the house. Tracy, peace is in the house. Tracy, peace is in the house. Okay, Wiley, can you tell me why so many people do not like Tracy in your chat? Because, let me tell you two it. reasons. Oh, let me tell you three reasons. When Tracy first me? started, she okay. started in front of a, a china cabinet and a gold tooth. It's those two elements made her, and then having no edges. Her having no edges in the gold tooth in the gold in the cabinet in the china cabinet made people drag her. And so Jay Wilson introduced her, but when he introduced her, she had edges. But when she started to do her platform, she literally started to get relaxed and you saw no edges and then you seen the chimney cabinet and then you seen all of that. And so that's what they do. And then Tracy would drag people in comments. You know, Tracy is have not always been a content creator. Tracy would go to platform and then platform, dog your mama, dog everybody. She would drag, 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 drag. She was dragging me and um and um lovely teach um chat. I didn't even know who this woman was. She was dragging me. I'm like, who is this woman? And Jay Wilson but, but, but gave her a platform. Is, when Tracy sees something wrong with people, like she she's on here to support you. But these people won't let her when something when she didn't see something wrong. But it's a lot of and I ooh, mm, God forgive me, God forgive me. 
Toen die echt dan hebben en die white tijden, die echt een real old spannetje. Die echt spannetje way older than Tree. But then I'm told they just ask the Tracy. Because, tr- <laughs> because v- the difference between VS and Tracy, VS then go to chat to chat is known for dragging you in comments. Jay Wilson told Tracy, okay. instead of you writing these paragraphs, get you a platform. And I will never forget the day she went to her went to the show. She looked very professional. But then once she got into her apartment in front of the chimney cap, she let it out that she ain't had no edges. Then she showed up, it looked like she had like a box shape when she was standing up. It looked like she had a box shape, body shape. So it was a lot of things. People started making these memes about her, screenshot and saying all of that. So Tracy not innocent, she roasted and gag and they start roasting and gagging her. That's just my okay, opinion. Okay, so let me ask you this. With Tracy being in your life, mm-hmm. and she's saying like, oh, Wiley, I'm sorry, I'm hurting for you. I feel your pain. Mm-hmm. Does that, you know, is that, do you accept that? I accept it because Why she's... Why you can't stop people no, from... No, no, no. It ain't about me accepting it or not like because Tracy... I'm like, this is just the She know how to... Show. <laughs> yeah, Tracy know how to defend herself. I'm not gonna sit here and defend Tracy. Tracy on getting her platform. Please yeah. don't eat a sandwich. She gonna be on that spin on that camera with her gold too, and she gonna go there and she gonna defend what herself that? and everything like that. And Tracy oh, stopped wow. eating sandwiches on that because was dragging her. She stopped. She used to eat sandwiches on camera, and yeah. she used to spin on camera, and they well, and she, they stopped her from eating sandwiches. And doing comments. So she used to eat, but some of the meat used to get stuck in the gold tooth and it used to go between her teeth. And so if she stopped eating on camera. Oh, if they're cheap and shake like an iPad, I can't deal with these old folks. I can then what's the name Zero Tolerance came in and then somebody just jumped on him. You have gangsters in your chair, huh? Come but on. these are people, these are not, I don't want to use that word, that word. These are human beings having I don't fun. Mean, like, bad I mean, no, but I you mean, know what I mean. They, they just they, having they fun. Not they having roast and okay, gag. They, they they having fun <laughs> roasting. I talked to two people. They were just roasting people, <laughs> and these were two nurses that was on here roasting, and they were two nurses, and they were so professional. But they were roasting and gag, and they said just because I roast and gag doesn't mean that I'm not smart. This is entertainment for a lot of people. This is better than cable for some yeah. folks. Oh yeah. I'm this, telling you, I didn't got off until how they saying she used to build like the letter A. She need a new couch. She just, oh, they just, oh my God. It's just too but I was just curious, like I said, they treated this up. And I was just curious. But I will say too, that you about to be on your own. Because you already know when BS mad at somebody, she go for the juggler. She probably gonna try to just turn everybody against you, flagging your channel and all that. So you gonna kind of be on your own and just pay attention, like that man was saying, that teacher man. Pay attention to your content. Try to be more positive. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Try listen, to be more like a role listen, model. listen. We getting our website. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you all know. I'm gonna be printing out five thousand to about ten thousand flyers, going door to door. Listen, when one door shut, another door open. And this is something that you all need to realize. Don't assume, oh, they're going to take your channel. If they take it, they won't take the Wiley name. I still Wiley. I just found another way to be creative. And so I listened to Professor uh, Professor Xavier. He brought up a good point. You do have to work on your content. I do criticize myself because when I start putting them videos and premiere them videos, I'm watching it as a viewer. And I say, you know what? Right. I need to stay on one subject matter. My content is not the best. It do come off some of being boring. I do talk about multiple subjects, so I do judge myself. That's why you see a lot of them old videos coming up because I'm watching as a viewer and I say, okay, I can be better on this. Okay, I can be better on that. So I get it. I really, really get it. And then we're going to take the show on the road more because y'all like it when I was in D.C. So <laughs> I'm going to go to South and we're going to San Antonio to meet up with Jay Wilson maybe one day. We can meet up with Jay Wilson, Tracy, or whomever is in San Antonio, Texas. I'll be in San Antonio, Texas for Labor right. Day. And so we're going to have a good old time. But you think D.C. was some way till we go to San Antonio, Texas. That's going to be way greater than D.C. because okay. you're going to have... You're okay. going to have Jay Wilson. You're going to have uh, uh, Duchess Kelly Love. You're going to have, uh, who was that? King Jives. And who else? Tracy might be there. Five Babe, I'm hearing. Gonna be there. It's going to be a lot of people that's going to be there in, in San Antonio, Texas. And so mm-hmm. we're going to have a good old time. Mm-hmm. Can I 
Dalvin. I'm looking at you. You, yes. you can't see me? No, I can't. I'm doing my show right now. I can see you now. Can you see me now, Calvin? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, Calvin, can I... Um, I would love for you to call into the show and sing us a song. Do what? I would love for you to call into the show, Calvin, and sing us a song. What is your show topic tonight? It's just about me telling my story. I, that was, I, I just want you to sing that gospel song. I'm just listening on this if you don't mind. No, I want you to call in, Calvin. You're going to do me like that, Calvin. I can't call in. You can call me. You know my number. Uh, wait a minute. You did give me your Let me see if I still have your number up here. Please let me still have Calvin's number up here. I don't think I still have it. I know I had it wrote down. I'm sorry. I had it wrote down. I don't even have it. Man. I'll test it on, I'll test it on this page. You can get it off, but I won't say it out loud. Okay, text it on the page and I'm going to call you. Bring you on the air. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. All right, that's one of my Facebook friends. I'm going to see if he can come on and chit-chat with us. Yeah, so we have content. Okay, we got to get ready to get out of here. Time is going. So we're going to get Calvin on. Once he comes, we'll close off the show. Um, Anybody else want to call him before he chime in? Um, let me put the number in there because we about to go. We sad enough. She be out here dusting the do 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 do. Jay Wilson and Tracy is going to. Oh yeah, y'all keep saying it. everybody's. Okay, let me see this. All right, Black Caller, you're live on the air. Black Caller, you're live on the air. Okay, let me get Calvin on the air. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Let me get Calvin on the air. All right. Come on, Calvin, answer the phone. <laughs> Calvin? Hello. Yes, you live on the air. Calvin, I was feeling mighty low in my spirit. And I was crying. I was telling the people my story. You know, I'm battling bipolar so much. You know, I was going through it. I would love to hear that song. You would love to hear what song? That one, Manny. Come on, I will, you know what song I like. My song. <laughs> Come on now. You are out the world. Come on, please sing it. Sing I, it. All right, my boss is fucked up tonight. I went to um, the beach for my birthday and I played in water like called a cold. Okay, it's okay. <clears throat> you always sound like you got a cold, but don't worry about that. Just oh, sing. Fine. Just that's sing. Fine. I'm going to sing it for you, bitch. Uh, okay. <laughs> Go you, ahead. You, uh, you are too much. Okay. Are you on the air for real? No, I'm on the air. We're live on the air. We got 300 and some odd people watching from all over the country and the world. Go ahead and sing us a song. Uh -huh. I told you I had a call. You talking about the song that said I wouldn't make it right? Yes, yeah, sing it. Oh, I feel like I want to hear my spirit. I, I told you. I said it sound rough though. I don't know. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter, Calvin. Do Listen, bit. just. I, yeah, okay. Give I'll me a... do a little bit for you, but I'm at the um, song of my voice. Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. They said I wouldn't be scared. See, my voice is crashing. Wait a minute. Let me see if I get it. <clears throat> they said I wouldn't be here today. They said I never mind to anything. But I'm glad to say that I'm on my way at it. There were many that started out with me, but now they're going to go straight. So the road has been rough, and my journey's been my little. Still, I ain't going nowhere. I was out there to stay. Though I've been taught to vow, before I've been criticized. I had to wipe many tears from my eyes. 
That's the bitch you're gonna get tonight. I tell you, my boy. You did, up. Calvin. What are you doing? You did good. Let me give you a yeah. round of applause. You did good with that. Hey, you did real good with that. You did real good with that. Well, thank you. I needed to hear that song. I need it. it, it I'm just, I'm surprised. Oh, oh, do you know your friend went wild on me on, on Instagram, honey, or some kind of um, thing? The one that we were talking with about the street walking thing? Yeah, he been going off on your Instagram. You talking about Rico. So Rico been going off of you on Instagram. I, I, it didn't, it didn't even phase me, honey, because you can never get what I have, honey. But that's a material thing. Like I told him, baby, I never did a street walk and say, I've been in the streets and not like that, basically, like, pushing props and and shit that he was talking about. I'm talking about being disobedient, running away from home, but I finished school, became a nurse, honey. Had my own home, own car, own shit. Never went home. I thought I 17. I was getting my own world, and I said, Never went back home to tell my mother that I need her to pay a bill for me. So he stayed home with his mama. So as that said, I don't have time to um, holler with him. Someone was telling me about it, but it don't even faze me. Because at the end of the day, honey, I got my own. Where he stayed home with his mama. Mm. But that did say, this bitch out of her. And I ain't tricking, I ain't fucking, I ain't sucking for. I'm working at 9 to 5 and 11 to 7. I'm at work now, huh? Got two pages that's completed this whole. It's in the bed to me. And I'm tending them till in the morning. I get up at 7. So as they say, I don't have time for a little bit of boy. He come up. I don't have. Look at my face of pain. Look at how I travel when I want to. First class, post star. With a hotel on the timeshare. So that bitch say. I don't have time for that. I look over people like this. You know what? This capital will never be mine. This capital will never be able to settle with mine. So that didn't say, I don't have time for that. When I said I was in the street, I didn't mean like tricking and doing different kind of things. I was like disobedient, trying to be like the other people. Hey, smoke, urge, drink, beer, crack, the hot damn powder. Um, the little day they get out here, it ain't never in my boat. Mm, all right. Uh, that's Calvin. Calvin is responding to Rico because Rico uh, went off on him. I said the joke because Rico was a streetwalker uh, as a joke. And, and Calvin um, Calvin is responding to that. So uh, because Rico went off on Calvin on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he doesn't know nothing about me, dude, but you know, I don't know. It's a child's me, baby. Even though, you know, yeah. we know he Calvin sound <laughs> like he, he smoked some menthol lights and some Mad Dog 2020. It sound like his voice went through the storm and went through the rain, but he got a cold. He got a cold. And so he had that cold for a long time, even though his voice might sound like it been through a struggle, but he got a cold. So that's why for all the viewers that is listening. Yes, but I'm like, you know, I didn't understand the little bit of boy, honey. He's just wet behind the ear, honey. One thing I can say, I never to lay on my back and get on my knees to get anything I want. I got an IQ boost to get what I want. And I'll show the world that I can be independent. I don't need a motherfucker to be on the corner and treat like he said he did. But that's his testimony. I don't care if I do, but I'm glad he kind of made it out of the, on the street. The streets were nobody, baby. Well, thank you, Calvin. Yeah, you know what? Thank now, you. He will never learn it. Thank you so very much. Boy, and you know what? Go ahead. Yes. No, go I ahead. You Get it up. I told you. I told you a little bit. Um, say you were doing some kind of talk. I was gonna look at him. You always instigating. It be it. Shit, that's all you think about. And for you to be buried, you show sure stay on this topic too damn much. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I'm an I'm an I'm an entertainer. I know, LOL. I'm entertaining, Calvin. You know, I might talk about SEX. You know, I'm entertaining. That's what that's what I do. Um, thank you, Calvin, for believing in my dream. For, oh, somebody hit me up on Jack. Let me see. Somebody hit me up on Jack. I'm sorry. Somebody hit me up on Jack. I'm sorry. Somebody hit me up on Jack. Okay, who it is? Let it be the jackpot. Oh, my gosh. He's good looking. Okay, let me you see. You hope it's Rico? No, no, no. No, no, no. Baby, this person look like way he's a lot of men better than Rico. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I'm in that about. Okay, um, no, I'm not married. He's it's a joke. I'm not married, you guys. I'm single. Never been married. I, I'm I'm married. <clears throat> I'm not even married material yet. I got to get my credit score up to eight fifty. I got to get this weight down, and I want my credit score up at eight fifty. My credit is too low to get married. It's in the five hundreds, so I want my credit in the eight fifties. 
But all the day, I'll tell you, if someone loves you, they don't love you for your credit score. And don't worry about your weight. They look for what's in their heart. That's a real person. No matter man or woman, you choose to go that route. Mm. Never think they're that case. You're up there marrying you for financial. Nothing lasts forever, not even financial, baby. Because you can be at the top of the game in the money that broke as a motherfucker on the street. So that's what you're waiting on, boo. You'll never get married. Oh, wow. Woo. Hello. Hello. You, you school? I don't look for... I don't, I don't look for nobody in material things. I look at the time that we look and see how these billionaires stay down, leave the shit behind they work so hard for. If I live a simple life to be able to travel, to eat well, and to dress well, have a roof on my head, that's the best goal that I can have. Fuck having the, all the Mercedes, the Lexus, and all that shit. But I do have a Lexus. But I'm just saying, for the material things, material things, I can tell that bitch over one day, I don't work hard for, and I ain't got shit to show. Insurance had now, I don't even want to pay off for the motherfuckers. Like, you don't work hard for. But if you tell me, she's sitting there waiting for get so scared to go, and all that, I'm right. So you'll never get married. Because, you know, it's a year if you don't damage your credit. So you just, you know. Try your best to find somebody that's willing to accept you for who you are, not your way. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have been bringing the show to a close. Uh, we had an amazing time today. Thank you all so very much. We'll be back live on tomorrow. I mean, well, today, rather, for episodes. We re-uploading the Oliver Twist um, from Chasing the Ladder. We re-uploading those old interviews, classic interviews. We put it up on the channel 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. And then I'll be back for my regular commentary at 10.30 p.m. You guys, you will see me in the chat. Thank you all so very much. God bless you. Please subscribe. Please like the button. Oh, he coughing. Lord bless that throat. Bless him, heal him, and his body completely. I'm smoking a damn blood, boy. Oh, you saw? Oh, oh, Lord, get that blood out your hand. You, your, that voice is already going through. It's already on E. Get that blunt uh -uh, out your I hand. Blow. I'm just fucking with you. No, I'm no. Thing, so let go. Blow. Let go of them you cigarettes and them blunts. I want you to let Maybe go of that. I want you to let go and get you some lip, yeah, get, you some good, lip good, tea, good, get you some lip tea, get you some tea. No, I want you to get off that 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 and get you a hot tea. Let go of them cigarettes and methyl lights. You gotta preserve that voice. Are you gonna be a singer uh -uh. Or, or you gotta let go of them cigarettes, Calvin? Right, yeah, no, 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 I'm Calvin. Calvin, Calvin you gotta let go of them cigarettes. I see you on the Gonna be. You gotta let go of the mythol lights and them cigarettes. The land, no, no, no. so much god bless you peace i will see y'all again uh um, more to later on today we got to go i gotta eat my pink simon and we will see y'all later thank y'all god bless you for watching the show um thank you all so very much i might bake my pink simon on video for y'all to see that thank y'all god bless you i want to give a special shout out to each and every one of you all that have been super chatting special shout out to regina harrison line she was in the chat that's oh i'm sorry before i close i'm sorry i want to say one thing before i close Regina Hair Salon was the first sponsor that sponsored the Wiley show when Wiley was barely cracking a hundred in the chat. Regina Hair Salon sponsored the Wiley show when Wiley was on the bus. I want to I want to send I want to say thank you to Regina Hair Salon for believing in me to promote your business when I didn't even have barely anything with people watching that sister believed in me to promote her business while i was on the bus and when i was on the train she was right there even if she don't pay me to sponsor her business i will always tell people if you're in houston area to go support regina hair salon because that sister believed in me and i just want to say i wish her business nothing but success i want her business to grow 
and everything that she touched, let it be 100, let it grow to a thousand, that she get as much clients and that she won't have room to receive because that sister believed in me when I had nobody. When I was getting roasted and gagged, Regina Hair Salon sent me a message to sponsor The Wiley Show. And she was one of the first, she was the first sponsor and the only sponsor for Marquita, um, the cross-eyed diva. So again, Regina Hair Salon, thank you, my dear sister. I dedicate this video to you and your business because you have been nothing but a blessing to me. And I pray that people come in and get services from you. God bless you all. Peace.